some moral crusaders try to be hip. Why do they try to be hip? Some moral crusaders, on the other hand, don't even bother trying because they know they can't be hip. Whenever moral crusaders try to be hip, they are doing something that is an oxymoron, a contradiction in terms. You can't be a hip moral crusader. Certainly you can grab on to external symbols of hip, like popular music such as rap, or using slang, but you will never be totally hip. It's just a surface level thing that's so easy for people to see through. Moral crusaders are repressed, and repression by its very nature is the antithesis of hip. You can't be hip and be repressed at the same time. In the speak of Fred Phelps, you could say, like he says, it's an axiomatic matter of fact. Definitions get in the way. Indeed, indeed. But so often they try. When I was young, my dad took us to this youth rally where they said, I say holy, you say spirit. They rapped and then they tried to give away shirts that said virgin and proud of it. If you really want to be hip, you have to purge yourself of your moral crusading part. You have to get rid of the antithesis of hip. And that's what I'm trying to do. I need to kick that moral crusader outside of my soul. And then I can be totally hip. The hip people are the ones who are breaking boundaries. The moral crusaders may be offending people like the people breaking boundaries, but they're not doing it in the right way. They are repressing. They're getting rid of the good. On the other hand, the artists and the revolutionaries are the ones breaking boundaries for the right reason. That's what we need, my friends. Purge yourself of the moral crusader.